coming inside places, houses of worship, sitting there, reflecting, detaching yourself, surrounding yourself with good people. The hadith of Thumam bin Uthal comes to mind. He was a man who killed many sahaba. He was wanted. You know, you have that most wanted list, FBI most wanted. He was Medina's most wanted list. He was the leader of Yamama. Sahaba caught him. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, what did you do? They tied him up to the, to the pole in the masjid. They had a couple of uh, columns, pillars in the masjid. They tied him up. Thumama was his name. Thumama bin Uthal. Thumama bin Uthal ties him up. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes and says, Ma luka ya Thumama. You know, in our, in our lingo, in slang, what's up Thumama? How's it going? In taqtul taqtul thadamin wa in tun'im tun'im ala shakirin wa in turid malan fas'al tu'ta minhu ma shit. He says, Muhammad, if you want to kill me, taqtul taqtul thadamin. I deserve to be killed. I deserve to be killed. I killed your people. Or another interpretation is, I'm a man of a high lineage. Wa in turid malan fas'al tu'ta minhu ma shit. One money, ask, ransom me off. But if you forgive me, I'll remember this till the day I die. The Prophet ﷺ said, no problem. Let him stay. 24 hours in Majd al-Nabawi. Next day, Nabi ﷺ comes, Ma baluka ya Thumama. What's up Thumama? What's going on? Now he realized if the Prophet wanted to kill him, he would have killed him the first day. He said, he realized he's not going to kill me. So he said, in tun'im tun'im ala shakirin, wa in taqtul taqtul dhadamin. You forgive me, I'll remember it. And if you kill me, I deserve to be killed. Wa in turid malan, fas'al tu'ta minhu ma shit. You want money? Ask, I'll give it to you. It's okay. One 20, another 24 hours in Majd al-Nabawi. Third day. Ma baluka ya tumama. What's popping? What's good? Same story, different day. In taqtul taqtul dadamin wa in tun'im tun'im ala shakirin wa in turid malan fas'al tu'ta min huma shi'd. He said, okay. So mama, go. Three days he spent in Majid Nabawi. Three days he spent in the Majid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Observing, just being around that area. Comes out, leaves, freed man. After a little bit, Thumama bin Uthal comes back to the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with water dripping from his beard and water dripping from his hand. He left, at, he left as Thumama and he returned and said, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah and he became a radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, Ya Muhammad, Wallahi, ma kana ala satih al-ard أو على وجه الأرض بلد أبغض إلي من بلدك ولا دين أبغض إلي من دينك ولا وجه أبغض إلي من وجهك والآن ما كان على وجه الأرض دين أحب إلي من دينك ولا بلد أحب إلي من بلدك ولا وجه أحب إلي من وجهك إسم محمد عربي Three days spending in your masjid. Before I came here, there was no city I hated more than Medina. There was no religion I detested more than Islam. And there was no face I abhorred more than your face. But now, wallahi, there, there exists no land more beautiful to me than Medina Munawwar. There lives no land more beloved to me, then Madina Munawara, Mera Dil Tarap Rahahe, Mera Jal Raha Hesina, Mera Dil Tarap Rahahe, Mera Jal Raha Hesina, Ketava Wahi Milegi Mujale Chalo Madina. Memories a Mustafahu, Memories a Mustafahu, Mujachero na Tabibo, Mujabas Le Chalo Madina. The poet says, I'm sick, I have a sickness. The sickness is, I'm, in, I, I'm infatuated with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The cure, you can't, no doctor come near me. No cure can be granted to me by any doctor. My cure is to go to Medina Munawwara. He says, I, I despised every land 
but now Medina is the most beloved land by me. I hated every religion, and now Islam is the most beloved religion to me. I hated every, fa I, there was no face more detestable to me than your face, but now your face is the most beloved face that my eyes have ever set upon. If Thumama bin Urthal can be changed, spending three days in the house of Allah, uh, the house of Allah in the masjid, he can say three days, are me and you worse enemies than Thumama was before he accepted Islam? What has happened to us? We hear the Quran and it doesn't affect our hearts. We sit in speeches, it's candy for the ears and not food for thought. What happened to us? <laughs> على <تصفيق> 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 <تصفيق>